In this video, I would like to quickly step back and uh, explore some Max OS internals, uh, and particularly the login with uh, the, the async login and set user, uh, and all other related stuff before uh, going on. Because uh, that should be clear after that um, how and why this slash user endpoint is important, and uh, how Max OS. Uh, operate internally with uh, the local storage and also with the state. So the most important part of the next house package, uh, it it it's doing this state management or store management uh, on behalf of us. So everything is automatically managed. Uh, that's a great uh, feature. That's a great thing. Uh, and let's just quickly go through uh, some documentation and the source code of the next house. Uh, if you go to the uh, next uh, documentation there is an API and the OS and it gave uh, the source code a link to our modules so that's uh, that's basically where uh, you should start so if you search for login with and uh, it's yeah 188 and uh, the login with method uh, which we uh, uh, which we have used in uh, our source code uh, inside says login view the login with it accepts a name and some data or um, the payload uh, that's why uh, that's uh, the argument actually and it's uh, stored in uh, ours.ts uh, file it's a typescript so the login with is uh, basically calls uh, this login uh, uh, method and this login is uh, calling uh, this um, let's see uh, the async login function. Let's go through the async login. So async login has an endpoint and uh, uh, the actual request is happening in uh, the line uh, of uh, 173. So it has uh, the, this OS request to the endpoint and uh, some arguments. Uh, if something, uh, if everything goes and uh, you have this response, uh, it's going to update uh, tokens uh, for uh, for us uh, through this response object. So it will get the response object because we are doing login. Uh, it, that means that we are getting back uh, some, um, uh, I'd say, some uh, access token and refresh token, and it will update the tokens. I'll, uh, Another thing that the important thing here is at the fetch user if auto fetch is enabled, so it's going to call uh, this fetch user method. And uh, if it goes to our uh, config, um, <laughs> we have enabled this auto fetch, and that's why uh, when we try to log in, it uh, automatically sends a get request to this uh, user endpoint because auto fetch of the user was enabled. Uh, by me. So if you go back and uh, click this at uh, the fetch user and um, let's just go to this one at the fetch user. So fetch users um, if user endpoint is disabled this is going to set the user to the empty object but instead if it's uh, not um, <laughs> not uh, disabled or it, if it's enabled and you get the user data it will call this uh, set user uh, with the uh, with the user data so user data is uh, uh, getting back from the from the response data now let's just quickly go to uh, to this set user because it's extremely mm, uh, useful and as you see that uh, the state also updated so uh, with the set user, you have updated uh, the state of the user. So if you're logged in and auto fetch is true, it's going to send the get request to the uh, slash uh, user endpoint, get the user data back, set the state, and of course, this is the most important thing here that it will uh, change as a logged in uh, state of this user to true. Uh, that's really, really uh, useful where when you want to um, access, when you want to check uh, quickly that if the user is logged in on somewhere else uh, of the uh, of the app, uh, you will call the this house uh, the logged in and it will uh, send back the true because the set state updated uh, under the hood. 
So that's an important feature of the next house. I, I really like it. Now let's just go back and uh, I would like to show another thing for update tokens. Uh, for update tokens, uh, if um, the token is required, it's going to set this token. Uh, so basically, if we get back uh, the access token, it will update uh, uh, the uh, access token on the local storage, uh, even on the state. Uh, so that's already done uh, by the next us. Uh, another code that we use here is um, <laughs> is a set universal. So what what's the set universal? Let's just quickly go to the. <coughs> It's, it's a storage and uh, there is a set universal. So let's just go to the source code and explore, quickly search for set universal. Yeah, uh, so set universal is accepting the key and the value um, and it's going to uh, update all kind of stories here. So it's going to set the cookie if you would like to use the cookie. If it's going, it's going to set the local storage and also it's going to update the state. So uh, when you set universal something, it will be available immediately in this cookie, local storage and the set state in the state as well, in the store as well. Uh, so we are going to explore this uh, uh, at the moment, but let's just quickly go through uh, the, what the video aimed. Uh, so Another thing is the set user token. So I'm going to search for maybe set user token, not here, but um, options. It, let's see the set user, no, um, maybe here. Set user, set user token. So set user token, set user token, uh, the OS token. So it is, it should be in the OS. Uh, I'm going to search for it, set user why. Right, right, so user helper, so set user, set user token is going to accept uh, <coughs> a token and a refresh token, then it's going to uh, set a user token. Uh, Spectacular where, where? Right, it's going to go this, uh, call this a set user token, and set user token will set the token. So that's a, that's the case, uh, all, all in all. So nothing uh, nothing fancy. So we are sending the access token and the refresh token. It will set uh, the token uh, both uh, everywhere actually, uh, and uh, mm, the state updates the state, the local storage, and it is returning the fetch user. I'm, I'm, it's actually interested that what this um, fetch user is doing. Yeah, the first user is like setting the user data, so that's the same thing. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's it for this video. So basically, we uh, we now should be able to understand how the things works on the hood. So when you uh, use a login with, when you use uh, uh, the set user token or set universal, uh, it's going to update everything basically uh, on behalf of us. So that's a great feature of the next house and extremely useful. Uh, let's see in the next video where I'm going to explore the VUX, how, uh, what kind of things are happening uh, after the login action. Yeah, see you in the next video, bye.